Aloha everybody. Mike Drutar, principal broker and owner of Next Home Paradise Realty, bringing you another property tour today. We are in the Waikoloa Beach Resort, the Waikoloa Beach Villas, checking out this two bedroom, two bath, really well decorated inside, ground floor, no stairs, condo. And if you don't know, this is a short term vacation rental eligible property. Current owner uses it part time and does not rent the unit. So one thing that's kind of nice is that you can rent this out, but people haven't been renting it out. You'll have to establish your own rental base. But sometimes, let's be honest guys, these rentals, they get used kind of hard. So it's kind of nice to be able to get a place that's not been a rental and turn it into a rental. I'm having a beautiful day out here. Let's get right to it and check inside. I'll tell you my three favorite things about the property and the one thing I would add or change. This is listed by Jake Fulmer over at EXP. Big thanks to Jake for letting me bring this to you. First things first, you got a garage. That's really a big deal for a lot of people, especially if you're part-timing here. You can put a car in the garage. You got plenty of parking out there if you are renting it out. And uh, put some of your toys and goodies in there. They're all safe and sound. I can tell you, I don't have a garage at my condo and boy, do I wish I had one. They do a great job here keeping the place looking good so that when your guests come, they feel like they're staying in just as good of a hotel. Now, if you are on the upper floors, they do have elevators, which is nice. You got a privacy gate right here. I've got things opened up for us, but you got that gate and then your front door, and then you work your way on inside. Let me kick these shoes off real quick. Now these condos, uh, this one was built in 2005. They've done a good job. They've got that resort look and this owner has decorated this like out of control good. This thing is ready for your photography and to list it uh, on your short term vacation rental platform of choice if that's what you want to do. You know, if you want to move in here or part time live here like this person did, you can do that as well. I mean, these things, uh, I like them. I um, have to be honest, I like the location, I like a lot of things about them. There's a lot of features in here that you have that provide a good value compared to everything else out there on the market in the short-term vacation rental space. Okay, so let's start off real quick. Kind of the way these are set up, one side of the condo is your living side and one side is your bedroom side. These are all um, with, um, what am I trying to say here? Built-in AC, yes, yeah, central air conditioning. <laughs> So first, bedroom number two, good job on this. You can see we have sort of a, that cream color on the walls, white on the ceilings. We got the resort look in here with the furniture, rattan style in here, carpet's in good shape. Plenty of space in here. I think we got a queen size bed here and we got some larger furniture, but they still got room for this desk over here. So that's pretty good. And side table over here, another one over here. And then we also have our closet. And look at this, eight foot doors. And they look pretty nice there. I like that it's not that old school six panel door like I have at my condo. And then next is our first bathroom. They did a nice job in here checking out our granite. There I am guys wearing, I think this is a, this is actually a Quicksilver shirt. You know, I love my Aloha shirts. So one thing that they do on these, and I like it when they do this, it's such an easy thing to do. I think everyone should do it. It's just putting that little piece of wood frame around the mirror, because you do get delamination on the mirror. It's pretty common out here. It looks better and then it hides the delamination. And then a standard shower bathtub, sliding glass door, entry tile all the way up to the ceiling in there. Pretty standard. And then over here we have our full size washer and dryer stacking. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I think most of the time when you see this in one of these condos, these sunstone built condos, um, that's something that they added later. I think most of the time those things had like that apartment stack washer and dryer. I gotta tell you, I had one of those. It's just, it, you know, sometimes that's all you can fit, but it means that you have to do more loads and smaller loads to get everything done. All right, let's check out our kitchen here. I really like the way they've done the kitchen. Sometimes in condos, you really lose kitchen space. 
when they were building these in 2005, you know, people's needs were starting to change and they were looking for a little bit more function and they did a good job with this one. So we got a little two person nook right here for a little breakfast area if you want. Spinning around, stainless steel, French door refrigerator with the sliding freezer down below and our nice cabinets, this nice wood in here. I like how they have that sort of that vertical ribbon, kind of like a wainscoting on here. Now, I will say also on the cabinets, they are standard roller nailed closed or not dovetail joints or anything like that. But they still look really, really sharp. And then of course the granite's nice gold color that's really just popping. Plenty of outlets and the multi-level bar up above the counter height for the kitchen. Pretty common for what we would see back when this was being built. Oh, nice little art nook there. Let's kind of take a look at that. I gotta tell you, this, this, uh, this is designed, decorated, I should say, really, really well. They did a great job on this. And uh, yeah, these are some beautiful art pieces. So we'll have to get a full inventory list uh, if this is something you're wanting to make a move on. Sometimes with a lot of these, the art won't be included because art can be very, very personal for some folks. Um, but your furniture will be. Uh, I think that kind of stuff is negotiable depending on the offer that you're bringing to the table. The better your offer, the more likely you are to get those things. Um, but I got to tell you, this is designed really well or decorated really well. Why do I keep saying designed? Plenty of space for table and chairs and your living area. They did a great job with the layout of these. I can tell you some of the sunstone builds that we saw back like where I was at, the early 2000s that aren't in the resorts, there's really not enough space for both a dining area and a living area. So I really like they did a good job on this. Sorry to have to bring it up again, guys, but this is just ready to go as a vacation rental. This is exactly what folks are looking for um, with the way it's set up. And then we come into the main bedroom. Great job on this. I mean, this thing just... This looks great. You know, and I'm noticing, I'm noticing what I'm not noticing, which is like, if this was a full-time vacation rental, it's just a little stuff. There's scuff marks and things from people, you know, throwing their luggage against the wall and stuff like that. You know, you have to prepare for that when you're getting into the vacation rental business. Um, so it's nice that this doesn't have any of that. It's been well cared for. We have a king size bed, plenty of space in here to do whatever you need to do. Got nice high ceilings, even got a ceiling treatment here. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And then we have an arched entry into the primary bathroom. Dual vanity sink, we got that same trim, nice large mirror, that same granite, same cabinets. So it looks nice and uniform. Got both a tub and a separate shower. And privacy door over here for the toilet. And then we even have a decent little walk-in closet here. And I gotta say, I might just want to buy this place just for the Aloha shirts if he'll convey and turn around and flip it. That is uh, a pretty nice Aloha shirt collection. I'm super impressed. I don't think I had any of those either. I need to expand my thing. I, think, I know you guys are seeing shirts being recycled. I got like 25 or 30, but you know I'm getting up to a couple hundred videos out there. I can't get a couple hundred shirts. These things are like a hundred bucks a pop, some of them. Um, 20,000 in shirts would be a little bit much to have a new one for every video. Okay, checking out here. One thing that's really cool uh, about these, and I wish I'd had it at my place when Sunstone was building, uh, is the ability to have an outdoor grill. Check it out here. We got a Viking. They didn't go cheap on that, guys. And you got a prep sink. The reason they're able to put this grill here in a covered lanai is because they have the vent. Super important. Without that vent, you can't have a grill here it wouldn't be up to code you'd have to like pull it out <laughs> on wheels out here and then the HOA might not dig it check out the view from the back right on the golf course Waikoloa Beach Resort you're gonna love that beautiful day out here in Hawaii let's get a look at those palm trees there you go now you're living the life this has got everything you need nice Ohia post out here I mean, it is just ready to go Perfect. Okay, my three favorite things about the property and the one thing I would add or change. Ooh, this is going to be tough. 
Uh, favorite thing number one is easy. This thing is decorated absolutely wonderfully. I mean, if this stuff, if you make the offer that gets it all, um, run to the bank, get your money, and close on it because that's really good. This is doing all the heavy lifting for you as far as marketing the property if you're looking at doing a short-term vacation rental. Favorite thing number two about the property is the fact that it hasn't been a short-term vacation rental yet. Uh, that means it is in great condition. It's not banged up. You don't have scuff marks all over the place. You don't have heavily trafficked um, wear into the carpet. Things like that that just happen when it's getting used by people on vacation, oftentimes traveling with family. Sometimes the kids don't do a great job. Um, so that's a, that's a bit of a problem. Favorite thing number three is the location. We're in the Waikoloa Beach Resort. We have two pools in here in the Waikoloa Beach Villas. We are right across the street from the Queen Shops, uh, a short three minute drive from the parking lot for Anaiho Omalu Bay. Um, you are in a resort node. You have the right to do vacation rentals, so you are set on all that. The one thing I would add or change, oh, I, I usually can't, I usually come up with something, but I can't think of anything right now. I mean, this thing is really, well done. Great listing by Jake. Good job on that. And uh, someone's going to be very, very happy with what they get. I hope you enjoy this. I got more videos in the corner. See you again real soon.